Yeah. Sa kanila yung sa bukid, guys. Day, di, di So, ito yung ano guys, ito yung um, sapa before. Before, marami siyong tubig, pero ngayon, look what happened. It dry out. Yes, creek. It dry out already. Hey, be careful, that's really slick there. That's slick. Lumalabay na kami sa sapa. <laughs> Lumalabay. See what happened. Um, <laughs> all years Lumalabay. dry. This is what happened to that river here. Come here, I'm gonna show you guys how to harvest a coconut. So this is our farm. <laughs> here guys, I'm gonna show you what's the process to harvest the coconut. First, we're gonna climb in the tree and then get the, the dry or the brown one. And then somebody will gather them and put it in the carabao. And then after that one, we're gonna peel it. Come here, I'm gonna show you. So you need to be careful, watch out if there's somebody else in the coconut tree. <laughs> so come here, I'm gonna show you guys. So this one, after they gather and put it here, and we're just gonna do it like that, hand by hand. So now you see it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, look at that. See, that's how I show you mm. when it's ready to harvest. Yeah. And then they're gonna peel it like that. The brown ones. Yeah, not yeah. really the brown ones, but All of it? once it, it sounds like this. Oh. Yeah. So when it sounds like that, they don't want it. They're ready. Oh. They're ready to harvest. Oh. Mm -hmm. See, there's a lot of process. Then after that one, they're gonna haul it in the road and then sell it. How much? Uh, pila ang pan ni Mark? Pila ang gatos? Bayad? No, 100 for this one is 35 pesos. Kilos? No, pesos. You're gonna pay them. One. For example, they pay 100 coconuts. Oh, 100 then that's 35. Coconut. It's per coconut, not, yeah. not on weight. Yet. No. So it's 35 per, per 100 coconuts. Per 100, yeah. So if he peel like 300, so 300 would be 100 and some pesos. 30, 60, 90, 105. Now is this the guy across the street that's buying these? No, oh, different. Oh. Different. Yeah, come up, take these pictures, take them, huh? He's very good at that. Look at them work. Yeah. Right. That's a hard work. I wonder if he ever has run his hand through that. So. Why don't you ask him? That would make you bleed very bad. That would hurt. You would be like Jesus on the cross. You stick your hand through that. Pila na makatuig nagkuan yan, nagbunot yan. Man, tinug. They're focused on what they're doing. Pila na makatuig nagbunot? 
five. So they've been doing that for almost five years. Yeah. And they haven't uh, they haven't cut themselves yet? Yeah. They cut themselves. I bet. I bet. Look, what's this? It's a cup. Gathering all the coconut after they fall down from the tree. I think I already cut that. Yeah. Remember I told you? Yeah. 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 They get the tree. This one looks like it's full. Yeah, but I think they already get the dry one. Oh? The brown one. Oh, that's, they're leaving the green one. Yeah, dude, you're not supposed to get that green. Well, then how because are we... this, you're going to wait for that for about two or three months. How are we going to get boko juice? My mama will ask somebody to get us boko. Ah. Ma, boko dao! <laughs> boko dao. It's how, not really expensive. How much a key is cooking at right now? Ilang kilo ka lang call? 570. 570. Right, well, that's up that's up over a year ago. Last year it was not that much. Yeah, I don't know. Five that price of coconut. 570 is, per kilo. That's the boko that guy is packing. Oh, Come yeah. here, I'm gonna show you. You can do it, try it. Go ahead. I'll eat Come on. it. I'll eat it. You feed me. Oh, that's what a good wife does. feed your husband. Mm. <laughs> 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 oh, that's good. That's so good. Butong no? Boko no? Butong ba? Boko de Japon dai. Boko lai sa kuan. Ako ko dati lubi mana. Can you make a book? Mmm. 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 This is the white guy eating boku. Fresh boku. <laughs> mm, very good, very good. <laughs> and drinking the juice of the coconut. Yeah, show me how to boku, drink it. Boku. You should drink it in that boku, not in that top, Tupperware. Mm, very good. Gotta be at least 60 feet. Uh, at least 60. I could be actually that could be 70 or 80 feet up there. He's spiraling right around that tree. It's amazing. Uh, where's no protective gear? No, no ropes. Nothing. If he slips, that's it. Now I gotta move because I don't want to take a coconut on the head. Mama, Mama works very hard. And Jalen. Hi. And Anna, they all work on the coconut. Mm -hmm. No, I did not work. I just eat. Look. Yeah, that's what the white guy did. I just ate. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. Tabang pukuan. Tapok. Hi. It reminds me of when I was a little kid, I used to ride this one. Oh? Yeah. Just like he, just like he is. Yeah, come here, follow me. Yeah. I'm gonna show you how to work. Hanan, I put no sag. What is it? Bird's nest. Bird's nest. Oh. Watch out for falling coconut. No, there's nobody here. I'm gonna show you, Han. I will. I will. I will help. Oh yeah, you're going to load. Yeah, you need what? to load. Sherry Lynn's going See, to load. Um, after the guy mm -hmm. fall down the coconut, then oh. I know will gather and then you need to load like this. 
Did you used to do that when you yeah. were younger? Yeah. Of course. You would load the coconut. Mm -hmm. So this is the example of a coconut that you're gonna plant. Yeah. Ah. This one. Oh, take it home. Take it home? Yeah, or plant it here. Hey. Maybe you maybe you should plant it here. Yeah, that one's ready to go. Yeah. Look at that. Very cool. Yeah, see that one already has a shoot off of it. So you just bury that one. Yeah. And then it will grow into a coconut tree. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm, very nice. This one you need to put in the mm -hmm. color ball. Now nah, from back here all you see is the ass of the of the <laughs> carabao. You should learn to work like this here. But you need to Oh that's good work, huh? That makes you very strong. Yeah, we like that one. Leave that one here, huh? Hey, who? We're, we're going to plant that one. Said the cart fills very quickly. Yeah. So when it's full, you don't need to ride because it gets more heavy. Well, that would be hard for the carabao. Mm-hmm. Where's the neck? How much the pet? Awak pa tuyok na mo? So they're gonna turn around honey and put that there. Mm. The big pile. Oh. Mm -hmm. There they go. That's quite a uh, that's quite a leverage thing. Yeah, see? You got there. Carabao is really a big help. Well yeah, you couldn't do it without the carabao. No. That's heavy dude. <laughs> so they just go turn around and put it going. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jan likes to ride. <laughs> yeah, there's a big pile of coconut shell. So we bring in the coconut here, where these guys are working very hard, taking off the shell. Very dangerous work the way they're doing it there, you know, they run one of those shivs in their hand, it would not feel good. The husk, coconut husk over in this pile will be burning them. But that coconut goes in for processing to be made into coconut oil. And that is pretty much the entire process here. Uh, we've got the guys up in the trees. There's about three of them. They go up in the trees, they drop the coconut. Other people gather it. Put it into the uh, trailer. Have the carabao pull it up to the harvest spot. And that's where they uh, de-husk it. Now you understand. Look, what, look at it all. Mm -hmm. Pink one. Yeah, look at that. Jerry Lynn has a cook in it. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of dangerous work there. If they miss when they drop that on there, they're going to have trouble. Oh, there it goes. The cook in it. The uh, carabao is on the on the move again. There goes the carabao. It is good. I mean, you know, it's been a while since we've been to the farm, right? Yeah. Mama just smile. <laughs> <laughs> He's not up there yet. Ah, uh, yes, I'm with Johan. I'm watching him. Jun Jun. What is that, about 30 meters up there? About 30 meters? About 30 meters? Huh? I bet that's 30 meters. 30 meters, yeah. I bet it's 30 meters. I'll go get out of his way. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah.
<laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, he <coughs> they trim out all the old uh, <coughs> boughs. The palm. I can't remember the correct term for palm bells. It's not bells. It's some, uh, sprongs or something. Anyway, he trims those out. And then he starts. There he comes. There. Hear that coconut hit the ground? You don't want to be under the coconut tree when they're harvesting. <laughs> I assume that he's looking them over and he's dropping the ones that, that look the best. There they come. You hear that? You would not want to be there. Butong John! Oh, Butong! Here comes one. Man, I tell you what. Those things hit hard. Ah, there he comes. He's going to come down now. I guess that's all the ones that were ripe or whatever. You know, they, they're looking for a certain type. They don't want to cut the green ones, so if they're too green. Unless you're going to drink the juice or eat the meat, then you do want the green meat. Now they're going to go find them and gather them up and put them in the pile. <laughs>